hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm simply carrie and i have just arrived at arthur r uh, marshall loxahatchee national wildlife refuge in boynton beach so uh let me see i'm gonna come over here and see if i can find out uh, about a, tr a hiking trail see if there are any maps before we get started okay this is really interesting this is a list of all of the u.s fish and wildlife uh, refuges in florida i'm looking at an impoundment trail map and i'm not too sure what to make of it i see where it says you are here I, it looks like there is a loop, but there's quite a bit of other stuff here. It looks like there might be a visitor center, so I guess we'll start there. Oh yeah, it says nature store, so we'll start there and maybe get a little bit of information. It looks like the trail is back this way. Okay, there are ref restrooms. There's the Cypress Swamp Boardwalk back that way. Let's see if we can go in here and see what's going on first. Oh, okay. The Everglades came to life 5,000 years ago as the climate was warming. The sea level was rising rapidly, encroaching on the Florida flat limestone shelf. Rainfall was increasing. Aquatic plants began to colonize the young wetlands, and the Everglades was a system signal. Eventually, the sea began to fill up in the southern sea and coastal plains. Near Rachel, okay, I hope. Okay, if all of this blue is a trail, then this is pretty large. Okay, we're gonna start off with the boardwalk. So I'm here today on a Saturday and it's my spring break. So this is the most I've really seen people um, on many of the trails that I've gone on. Okay, seating area. So this boardwalk so far is doing a lot of twisting and whining.
Okay, it looks like we can go up here for the observatory or, a, well, let's go up here first and see what this is all about. The Cypress Swamp Boardwalk is what, where we came from. Okay, so this just went in a loop. And now we're coming back out of the boardwalk area. All right, so the boardwalk look, looks like it's nothing more than a loop. When you get to the end of the loop, if you go toward the building, it looks like that building is possibly the... Um, the store the nature center office and store where you first enter which yes it is okay so we came back out the same way we came in but if you just exit when you see the observatory you'll be right back into the parking lot okay so I'm back at the map and it looks like what we did was we cut we were here and we went through the boardwalk this is the cypress swamp so i would imagine this is the boardwalk that we covered and all this other stuff not certain of all right so now we're getting on the paved path that we saw from the parking area okay so this is a sign pointing to the boardwalk and there's parking over here This looks like it's not even a path. This is leading us back to where we first entered. Let's go across and see. This says Marsh Trail. Okay, so we got to the opposite side of the parking lot. We're in some other parking lot now. There's a dirt road there. I don't know if that's a trail and this looks like it could possibly be the trail okay so it says you were here and I would imagine oops you were here so I would imagine we could do this around or maybe, I don't know, it loops. I'm not really sure. Oh, here's a legend. It looks like there are several, possible several trails. Now, this is some place you should Make sure you have some sunscreen. Make sure you have an umbrella if you don't want to take in too much sun. Because as you can see, there are no trees. I mean, there are some trees, but for the most part, you're in the sun. Okay, I think I see the observation deck. It's far out there. So we're gonna walk this. If they have a spot to sit down, my back is killing me. <sighs> I think I have a sciatic nerve problem. Okay, let me get moving again. I'm gonna try and track some of my steps while I'm out here. Okay, there. There are black, what are these, grasshoppers? Yuck. 
as I was walking. They kept jumping up and down. There were several of them. I actually heard something in those bushes. I have a feeling these trails intersect or I don't know about crisscross but definitely intersect because I see a road over there or another trail on the opposite side and we could probably get it down there I see a bridge so we have pig frogs it says, uh, the deep grunts from pig frogs are often mistaken as the sound of alligators. So maybe that's what you heard, a pig frog. Well, unless you're trying to get a tan, which I'm not, I would advise wearing a long sleeve shirt. I wish I had. There's another one of those uh, areas where you can read information. So that lets me know that there is, uh, there is another trail. Okay, it looks like that observatory is closed. What? If you notice, we can either keep straight, we can cross this bridge for another section of the trail. And that's how we would have crossed over to the trail that we were just on. Or we could go in this direction. Okay, it looks like there's another map right there. Okay, this looks like it's broken down into what are called compartment C management areas. And here are, this is saying compartment manage, uh, management compartment C. Huh. Okay. So where would we be on this? All right, so it says because much of Loxahatchee Northwest Regional, I guess, NWR, is composed of Everglades habitats such as sloughs, wet prairies, sawgrass, and tree islands, and is inaccessible to the public, the Fish and Wildlife Service opened these impoundments to observe some of these habitat. All right, so based on this map, it looks like we parked here. We walked across Lee Road. There was another parking area. We walked in through here. We, we walked in through here, and now this is where we are. So if we cross over that bridge, we'll be in 2B. So... The so next one down from here, if we keep straight, would be eight, nine, ten. Okay, and across from that would be five, four, three. There's two B and two A. Okay. All right, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna keep straight or should we go across? Let's go across. I wanna see what's over there.
So going down this way, I would imagine would be 2B. And if we kept straight and went down, that would be 2A. This could lead us to that other observatory that we saw. All right, we're gonna go see what's over here. I can't believe it, there are deer out here. I, I hear another one of those frogs. But we just saw deer. Now, the deer I'm not worried about. They look friendly. <laughs> but you know what would be really unsettling to see? Some kind of a panther or something. What do you do if you see that? There's another area where we could either keep straight or we could make a right turn and go off to, I guess, another compartment. Okay guys, so my battery's about to die. I'm probably not going to be out here too much longer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is some place I definitely have to come back to a little bit more prepared and walk a little bit more. Ooh. Um, anyhow, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video bye